hello beauties welcome back to my channel if it's your first time stopping by to my channel my name is Atuke. so today i'm going to be sharing with you how i achieve this lovely gorgeous butterfly looks using brazilian how to achieve this gorgeous crochet looks so i, I braid with first strand of brazilian womb then i wrap with five strand of brazilian we can see what i'm doing after securing the knot I'm going to use one strand of Brazilian wood to tie a knot to hold the knot very well to secure it to secure the root so that it won't give us problem when we want to crochet this. So I wrap with five strands of Brazilian wool. Make sure you brush this Brazilian wool. That is what is going to give you the rough, rugged butterfly lock. We don't want it to be smooth. We don't want it to be like a normal lock. You understand? So brush it if you want to achieve this kind of butterfly lock. You have to brush it. If you don't brush it, it's going to be like a normal lock. So you understand? So brushing is the key. Then I start wrapping. I start wrapping. I secure with my second hand. So if you want to achieve that butterfly effect, you have to work with your thumb. You are going to see what I'm trying to say now. You can see with that thumb, use the Brazilian wool on top of your thumb then wrap it remove the hand then wrap on top of it then carry it under so that you won't wrap the butterfly effect you understand so just keep on watching and thank you so much for all the support thank you so much for all the love if you're a new subscriber thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch my video i really appreciate your support your love if you've not subscribed Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this amazing video. Can you please consider by clicking on the subscribe button because I know you enjoy you are you you enjoy what you are seeing, what you are watching. So if you want to see this on a wig, I've already achieved something like this, but it's like bob effects on my channel. I have the wig down below. Just look for butterfly lock wig using Brazilian wig is on my channel. I may share it on my community later on so that you can can check that out also but this is going to go on my hair yes if you want to see the final look of me installing this on my hair make sure you comment down below i really appreciate let's interact in comment section guys please and please so the, the first strand i took the first time i could not finish it with the length i wanted to achieve so i took another five strand but it was no long like the first one i used in wrapping then I continue from where I stop. I just carry it over, then just watch the way I did it, then I start wrapping. So when you are close to the tip part, do not achieve any butterfly effect again so that it will be very easier for you to crochet. Just tie a knot two or three times. Then I'm going to be cutting the tip with scissors. I'm going to be using a lighter to bond the tip so that it's going to secure it when we want to install this wool unravel. After I finish using a lighter to bond the tip, make sure you use your hand to rub the tip before it gets cold. And please make sure you put water by your side. This can be so painful. It can be so painful. I didn't show where I was rubbing this. Okay, I showed it. I thought I didn't show it. Sorry, guys. I showed it. I showed this place. So can you please keep on watching? I'm still going to be making another tutorial. Keep on watching. So make sure you achieve the knot. The knot is very important for you to achieve. Make sure you achieve a very special knot that it will be easier for you to crochet your hair. Can you please keep on enjoying this amazing tutorial?
So I achieved two different colors. So for the color black, I braid with five strands of Brazilian hair and it was still tiny because the color black Brazilian hair was very tiny. So later on, I braid, I said, sorry, I braid. I twist the root, one I use in twisting the root. Later on, I started using six strands. So for wrapping, I first used six strands, but it was tiny. It was not the same size. Then later on, I started using seven strand yeah i started using seven strand because i want to get the same uh, the same look you understand i don't want one to be tighter than one so can you please keep on enjoying this amazing tutorial So guys, the final work, the final look, you can see the two colors look so beautiful. So I'll show you what the crochet DIY looks like. This is what it looks like. I'm going to show you the roots. So watch out for the installation video. It will come up very, very soon. I don't know how soon is that. Please guys, please kindly support the girl by subscribing like share with your loved ones anyone that you think to see this video please share and share i really appreciate your love and your support so so much thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for all the support i really appreciate each and every one of you so 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 much so i'm just showing you how the knot looks like here yeah? so thank you make sure you watch to the end See you in my next video. Stay blessed. Always. Bye.